Hey guys, welcome back. Peyton and I are here to do a little bit of a science experiment with you. Today we are gonna make cloud dough, which is this stuff right here. And all you need is two ingredients and Peyton's gonna show you what we have. First one we have is cornstarch. And then the second thing we have is some conditioner that you wash your hair with. So the first thing that we're gonna add is um, our cornstarch. So you're just gonna take. Um, I'm gonna dry it out. Go ahead. Talk to you're me. gonna take um, one fourth cup of cornstarch, and just you're also gonna need a bowl for this. So put that in there. Um, you're gonna need two of those. So that's one half cup of cornstarch, and then. You're going to get about two one. tablespoons of conditioner. So, I need some help. <laughs> Here, I got you. Okay. Make sure you ask your mom and dad before you grab these ingredients, guys. So, so we're gonna one, do one, and then we're gonna scoop that into the bowl. And another one. You might need to add a little cornstarch if it's too wet. If it's too wet and if it's too dry, then you're gonna add more um, conditioner. Now comes the gross part. Peyton is gonna mix it all up and you actually have to get your hands in there. But the good thing is, is it washes off really well. Yeah. And so, at first, it'll look like it's just crumbly and kind of gross, but then it starts to come together. It so, might. So the conditioner will clump, clump up into different pieces. I'm going to show them what that looks like. And so the conditioner will clump up into different pieces. So when you get your hands in, there's like clumps of corn or clumps of conditioner that are covered in cornstarch. So you're just going to mix it around. You might need to add a little more um, conditioner, but once it like gets to like a bunch of little different things, it's not all just powder, then that's when you start with your hands. So you take out the spoon and just go in with your hands and just play like it with like a Play-Doh or like just. I like to put down some paper in case it does make a little bit of a mess. It's easy cleanup, okay? I think I need a little more. Mm -hmm. So and it needs a little it's more a little conditioner. It's a little crumbly right now, so you might need a little more conditioner. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit in there. It does feel kind of gross, but it's going to end up into a really soft, like, Play-Doh. One thing I want you guys to remember when you are done playing with your cloud dough, you want to make sure you put it back in a bowl or something. Don't just leave it sitting around because it will make a mess, okay? So make sure you put it back into a container or a bowl. And, and this will last just a couple of days, but um, it can get a little bit dry. And if it comes to that case, just mix in a little conditioner. And also, if, you're, if you just wash your hands and you're going to play with your cloud dough, I would consider... Um, Drying your hands. Drying your hands fully because it can get some residue, like some of the stuff on your hands. And then. But it will smell like whatever conditioner you use. And so my this hands smell really nice right now, too. How's the cloud dough coming? I need some conditioner. I need a little condi she needs a little more conditioner. And it should be at the point um, or when it's almost done. Right now, mine is mixing up and it's like a bunch of different stuff. A bunch of different clumps but when you when i squeeze it it becomes like one big clump so that's what i'm doing right now and i'm just adding a little my mom just added um a little more conditioner so i'm just mixing it up it's getting to the point i'm just squeezing it and i would use a much bigger bowl than we have here so you can keep your hands inside and play with it yep Use like a big bowl, even though you're only gonna make this much cloud dough. Oh, do you want to say like if they want to add a color to it, maybe as no. an apparent? Mm -mm. No. No. You can add color to it, but I feel like it gets way too messy on your hands. And I kind of like 
it white. And since we're making cloud dough, it should be white, right? It's clouds and white. Now I chose to make this craft this week or this um, activity this week because it has been really cloudy and kind of snowy. And hopefully starting next week, we'll get a little bit warmer, sunnier weather. But April is supposed to be a wet, snowy, rainy month so that all those plants can get started growing, right? So we'll tolerate those clouds because all of those plants are coming soon, right? All right, guys, looks like we're so. just about ready. We need a little more conditioner. If it's like a solid thing, but still kind of breaks apart, I would add a little more conditioner, which we're doing right now. And mine right now is in a condition that you can hold it. Hmm? No. Maybe. All right. So you can see she's got her cloud dough ready. And as she keeps playing with it, the stuff that's on her hand is gonna cling to the cloud dough, right? Mm -hmm. And there might be a little bit left on your hands, but then you can just wash them and make sure they dry completely before you play with the, your cloud dough. Okay, I hope you guys have fun making your cloud dough. Super fun. Bye. Have a great day, guys. Bye.